Right, let's go and open a forum in Moodle. Now, I'm not going to talk about too much about the possibilities of forums, but uh, more about just the mechanics of setting up a forum. I'll talk about the uses at another time. So we are in a course. We have got the managing turn editing on button um, engaged, and we simply add an activity. We go to forum, and we give it a name. First, so for example, uh, we're going to talk about in this forum. We're going to talk about the water use. Um, we have different types of forums. Standard forum for general use, uh, um, description of which you can find in this little uh, very very helpful help button. Uh, the standard ones most commonly used for standard discussion. A single simple discussion is very useful for sort of very focused, uh, short discussions generally. Um, the one that I use quite a bit with my students Q and A forum, uh, which uh, pretty much means that uh, students have to actually submit something before they can view other entries. It really encourages some sort of independent work and um, prevents people from hiding behind others. Now, so let's go water use. Um, here you would write a little description of the forum, which I'm not going to do at the moment. Perhaps, for example, purpose of the forum, and uh, I quite often state the rules of the forum and the posts. Um, uh, there are some buttons here down below which I'm not going to go into any great depth uh, but you can see that um, as I said for all of these items you can have a, have a read um, on uh, some of these help buttons. You can specify one perhaps important one is to specify the uh, upload size of the files um, and the RSS feed. Now, if you go to RSS uh, fee, uh, Reader Setup, uh, it's very handy to actually um, receive discussions, discussions or posts to your, um, for example, iGoogle or whatever uh, RSS Reader you use. Um, the kids can actually uh, rate. You can uh, specify they can rate each other's entry. Um, I have previously set up a little scale of simple evaluation. It doesn't, it doesn't come as default, but I will provide another little example how to, another two minute Moodle, how to set these up. Uh, so let's say they can rate each other's entries. Um, Whether we have groups or no groups, we can specify here. And let's go and say the changes. Now, as you can see, the um, description has showed up here. Rules, we can imagine here that we've added something and we add a new discussion topic so let's say uh, solutions to water shortage okay and then your initial post uh, this we're just using a um, standard general forum uh, and we're going to ask a question um, can we do uh, to improve water supply in our city? So we sort of invite the contribution from other from other forum members. We can specify to have a send uh, emails of the post of this forum sent to us or not, uh, depending on your settings, depending on the size of the forum, and we post to forum. Okay. You have certain time to edit your post if you want to make any changes. And as you can see, we've got a new discussion thread, if you like, uh, solution to water uh, shortage, and um, the uh, uh, forum participants can now reply um, to my initial post. Let's have a look at what the forum um, actually looks like, the one that's actually been created and uh, worked at. Okay, this is a part of the. Uh, this is a forum that I had with my year tens on uh, globalization or culture, and they argued about the influences cross pollination of cultures, if you like. Now, rather than pointing out to the details of the forum, I just want to point out to the four different views of the forum that we can have. Uh, display replies flat with oldest first. That means the first post, then the next one, and the next one down. You can see there's no indentation. They're pretty much, uh, you can see by the time that th these were posted. Right. You can also, let's say we want to see the newest posts. Um, so this was the initial post, and then um, these are all the latest posts. So this, this sort of, um, the, the, the time is rising here. 
Uh, this is probably a, a, one of the very, very useful, probably the most useful one, is display in threaded form. This gives us a very, very quick um, graphic overview to who actually re re replied to whom. So, for example, we see that uh, Ashley replied to Sean, um, and uh, Sean replied to Heath's reply, uh, who you can, you can extrapolate from there. But it's very easy to then go to a particular entry and see where the argument has actually come about. We show the parent, and it's very, uh, it can be very uh, seen very quickly who has actually responded to who. This is particularly for larger forums when it gets a little bit messy. For example, this forum had about 123 posts in this discussion alone. Kids did a really good job. Um, the last one is a nested view. As you can see, it's actually visually nested in, and this is, a, this is the one that I use the most, probably. Um, as you can see, Ashley has responded to Sean, and then Dominique has, uh, in this case, agreed with Ashley. When you're in forums and you want to see what the kids have posted, what a particular um, student has posted, for example, I'm going to click on Sean here, and I can see all his forum posts. Um, and I can see what discussions he participated in, what are his answers, and I can always see the parent or see the post in context of that conversation. So I can really quickly grasp the idea, um, grasp the depth of knowledge and argument of this, of this particular student. And that, in brief, is a little bit about forums and how to set them up.